Close your eyes and let yourself imagine being anything you want to be. You can dream. Cause dreams are places you can go to anytime and anywhere you want to go. You can go. Welcome to the School of the Holy Childhood one of the most wonderful places you could ever visit. We serve children and adults with developmental disabilities, and you're going to be surprised when you see how much our wonderful children and adults can accomplish. You can fly all the way to the moon and back. I look forward to coming to school because it lights up my day. You learn how to bake and cook, and we learn how to put stuff away and clean it and wash it. What's the prep time on that? Prep time, 15 minutes, prep time, 30 minutes. In computer class, we've been looking up a lot of recipes because we're making a cooking book for us to take home and cook at home. When we get older, we'll be able to do that stuff when we live on our own or with our friends. I'm Matt's mom, who attends the School of the Holy Childhood. I see what happens to children that are special needs children, and they're often ostracized, picked on. They really feel like an outcast. Matt would have been in, in this situation for sure, and he probably would have developed a very negative image of himself. And I think the school's helped him um, gain a lot of confidence and helped him with his self-esteem. What's exciting for me is him learning to read. That's been kind of a milestone this year. You know, he's such an outgoing kid and he has all kinds of activities like swimming and woodworking and ceramics. The angels, they have lots of hiding places on here, it's like right here, see? The ceramics program, I think, is an integral part of the vocational training. There is a lot of pride in that. The children with disabilities can make such a beautiful project. We have an order for 3,000 angel ornaments every year. The monies that are received goes to an orphanage in Haiti for children without parents. So our children with their disabilities are giving back to the world. We looked at Holy Childhood and as soon as we walked in, we saw some students opening the doors for us. Students we didn't know said hello, uh, staff said hello, and we just felt like we were home. And uh, we decided to have Tracy come here. We wanted her to get the best education that she could in the community and with people that really cared about her and how to get her into society and into a life that would be normal for her. Not finding this place is like uh, not ever having Tracy. And I can't imagine our life right now and Tracy's life without Holy Childhood. She wouldn't be the person, she wouldn't be the young woman that she is now without Holy Childhood. Some of our folks love to work in woodworking and produce beautiful pieces that we sell at school or at sales. Others work in the sheltered workshop and do tasks and jobs for industry. And they too know that they are performing a very important task for the public. And others love to work in the bakery. They learn to measure, they learn to tell time, they learn to mix all of the ingredients for our wonderful pies, and they know that the public appreciates that. Laura had a very difficult time making the transition from her district-based school program to uh, any kind of adult program. What Holy Childhood promised and has delivered was a combination of structure and support and skill development and love. And so Laura, who was essentially zero at self-esteem when she started this program, has blossomed because of what she was given here. And, and um, she's really quite a terrific um, young adult now. We provide local industry with 
quality work for a very reasonable price with on-time scheduling. There is not a local business out there that's going to give us work because of the charity. We have a great reputation. Uh, that's why we've had some customers for over 20 years. Our company is TLF Graphics. We've worked with the Holy Childhood for probably six years. They do sorting, punching, inserting, handwork, uh, a lot of manual labor. They do it quickly, correctly, and competitively. That's why we come. You see the folks here working, and you know, there's a smile on everyone's face. Uh, we enjoy it. We, we enjoy coming over here and seeing them, and we enjoy uh, bringing them the work makes us feel good. We're very busy, and you rarely do you stop to say, wow, look at that person over there, how much they've grown. And they're very excited about coming to work. Not many people can say that. Holy Childhood is very unique in that it's not just a work place for these people. It's their place to socialize. Um, it's their place to, to get healthy. They have adaptive phys ed. I don't know of any other program that, that has that for adults. Super job, Naomi. What I do is I basically teach my students to have fun through games and through recreation and through exercise. Touch. Touch. That's the way it is. That's good. Nine, last one. Ten. Beautiful, Scott. The administration here at Holy Childhood saw we need to be able to increase the fitness levels of our students. They're able to exercise, they're able to make their bodies healthier, stronger, and they just feel good about themselves. And that's the thing that we want our students to be. Um, but we want them to be productive and be able to reach their fullest potential. Way to ride that bike, Sheila. That's the way to do it. I've been going to program, going to school 36 years. I like to do weight training and swimming. Someday I would like to do the state Special Olympics if, if it's possible. Which any, anything could be possible. I just surprise myself all the time anyhow. Everybody seems to know who I am and what I can do. I have abilities just like everybody else. I mean I, it feels really good to know that I can do something then I am worth something to somebody. I'm worth something to people in this community. You can fly all the way to the moon and back. You can reach for the highest star. This school sees miracles happen every day. Our children come to us at five or 10 or 11 years old, and suddenly we see them come alive, their personalities emerge, and children who were once perhaps forgotten are now accepted for the wonderful people they are. Holy Childhood has, has taken that special part of our family and made it blossom into a beautiful flower that uh, we don't feel we would have had in our family if it wasn't for Holy Childhood and if it wasn't for Tracy. If you go into any of the places around town where they have the candy sale, they all have a little sign on top. It says, I love Holy Childhood. That says it all.